Okay, this is the first part of um, uh, LXL C1 paper from January 2006. Right, okay, question one. I'm not going to say a lot about this. Uh, notice there is an X in each of them, so factorise first, factorise out an X, you should get something like this. Right, and then that should factorise neatly into two brackets. Question two, not going to say a huge amount about this. Um, all I would say is find U2, U3, U4. So U2, all right, it says put UN plus 1, if I just change the colour here, UN plus 1 is UN minus 3 all squared. So put in U1, so it's uh, oh, uh, 1 minus 3 and square that. So you've got negative 2 squared which equals 4, then for U3, we're going to put in, uh, where is it, it is 4 minus 3 all squared, which equals 1, carry on, you should notice a pattern. Okay, question 3, well part A, uh, all you've got to do is substitute in 3 for X, so X equals 3, and y equals negative 1, and make sure that both sides equal each other here. Right, find an equation with a line perpendicular to L, which passes through P. So, in order to find um, a line that's perpendicular, we've got uh, the line L, uh, here we go, so L has a gradient, has a gradient of minus 2, equal to minus 2, so therefore the perpendicular, alright, perp has gradient of a half, alright, that, that should be equals a half, and then put it into y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, uh, and you should come up with your answer fairly successfully. Um, what I would say is it's got to be in this form where A, B and C are integers, so no fractions, please. Question four, uh, find the y dx. Now, the first thing you've got to do here, you've got to convert into negative indices. So we should have 6x to the minus 3. There we go. Um, to find dy dx. Uh, so dy dx is going to be um, equal to. Uh, well, that first bit is pretty easy, isn't it? Um, remember that we get minus three times minus six. So that becomes plus eighteen, and then it goes down by one. All right. Uh, when we do the integration. Okay, this should go to 2x uh, to the power 3 over 3. And again, we're going to get a negative negative. So we're going to get plus 6 over um, 4. Uh, actually, what am I talking about? I'm talking absolute drivel over 2x to the power minus 2. Right, simplify them and don't forget your plus c. Question 5, right, root 45, right, if you can't do part A, uh, you need to have a bit of a long, hard look at yourself, I suppose, there. But remember that uh, 45 has got to equal um, 9 times 5, that's all I'm going to say about that. Right, um, for part B, we've got to rationalise the denominator, so, to, so you're going to be doing... Hold on, there we got three minus root five. So you need to times that by the special one, which is going to be this, isn't it? So three plus root five, three plus root five. Okay, multiply all that out. Um, you should end up with something in this form as they suggest.